guests, welcome to the Performance Monitor. My name's Chris Leyland and today I'm going to spend the next few minutes talking about our, what we think is our flagship investment product and that is the True Potential portfolio range. Okay, so firstly, let's start by discussing the performance of the portfolios. What I want to do is just let you know what changes we've made and also look at what are the key themes that we're seeing from our fund manager partners right now. Okay, so let's look at the performance for the month of March. So all of the portfolios have shown a positive return with investors rewarded for taking on extra risk. Since we launched in October 2015, we're now seeing performance figures of anything up to 30% over that period, illustrating just how well advanced diversification works. Okay, so let's take a little bit more in-depth look at performance. Over the month, we've seen some excellent returns from the fund manager style of UBS. So UBS have really come into their own over the last few months with their low cost, value driven style, helping to boost many of the portfolio's returns. So UBS has the advantage of their huge investment bank expertise. And that means that they've got access to more innovative products such as cars, that's their currency focused hedge fund that makes up part of the true potential UBS range. Now this has the ability to offer uncorrelated returns to equity markets. Okay, so let's move on. As you'll know, we speak to our fund manager partners at least monthly. And when we speak to them, we're looking for any short term key themes, and then we can tilt our portfolios to take advantage of those themes. As I mentioned in last month's video, many advisors I speak to have commented that markets are pricing on high valuations. However, the beauty of using the true potential portfolios is that there'll always be pockets of value. They're not just invested into one single area. So two areas that our manager partners feel look good value right now are Europe and the emerging markets. Okay, so let's start off with Europe and our fund manager partners perceive this area to offer the attractive prospect of higher returns. Political risk is starting to dissipate, with the far-right party in the Netherlands being defeated, and also Marine Le Pen currently behind in the polls. Economic growth in Europe actually outstripped that of the US last year, and earnings have been improving. Okay, so let's move on to emerging markets. So commodity markets have been strengthened by the reflationary expectations associated with Donald Trump. If his growth policies are stymied in the short term, emerging economies, which benefit from rising commodity and material prices, they may see their stock markets being tested. China and its slowing growth trajectory sit in the background. However, tilting policy in order to stimulate domestic demand would help offset worries that China will overproduce goods and export yet more disinflation to the developed, to the developed economies. Now, let's take a look at what trading has taken place over the month. So rebalances have been placed for our Growth Plus portfolio. So what have we done within Growth Plus? We originally omitted the True Potential Allianz Balance Fund as we wanted to maintain greater concentration with fewer manager styles to help differentiate Growth Plus from the original growth portfolio. We've reviewed this decision and added 4% to Allianz whilst taking 4% out of the True Potential Close Balance Fund. The impact of this change is to reduce exposure to the US equity market, as close are heavily weighted to US equities, and we've seen an increase in the weighting towards emerging markets where Allianz are more heavily weighted. Okay, so while this move further diversifies the Growth Plus portfolio, by aligning it more closely to both Cautious and Balance Plus, we're actually aiming at a better return outcome through exposure to the Allianz Momentum style of management and nimble risk management. Looking at the rest of the True Potential portfolio range, allocations have been kept the same, with the optimization of all four factors continuing to be paramount within the portfolios. Here at True Potential, we feel our portfolios are unique blending multi-asset funds together to obtain a new level of diversification around investment style. And this is what we call here at True Potential, advanced diversification. But what is advanced diversification? It's moving on from what other multi-asset fund managers are doing. 
taking diversification further than just around geography and asset class, using different investment styles within a single product. Why is it important? It's important as it reduces single fund manager risk and it allows the portfolios to weather differing market conditions. Okay, thank you very much and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thanks.